It's the extra poo that makes all the difference. Well, hello, all you microscopic Chinese doctors. This game is called Healer, and it looks a little familiar. Yes, he sort of, kind of, has a, a particular style to it. You know, maybe, maybe maybe you've seen it before in the in the past uh, 10, 15 years of, of of video games. It looks a little familiar, you know. It's uh, yes, it is the unmistakable style of David Cage. No, Edmund McMillan. Yeah, this is a it's a Chinese game. It came out about a week ago, and I, I say it's a Chinese game because when I look at the Steam page for this thing, and I mean, first off, the menus are a dead giveaway. Everything's it defaults to Chinese, and it's a little difficult. That you can see me here trying to poke around and figure out how to, you know, get a different language out of it, preferably English. But I'll, I'll settle for something that that at least uses a. a a set of letters and numbers that I can recognize, like we see here in the, you know, in the, what is a credits section, apparently. But, yeah, so this is uh, some sort of, uh, uh, the the Steam page says it's an Isaac-like game in which you play the role of a doctor. You select a disease from various medical records and control various human immune guards equipped with various core weapons to idiot out of you. So... Yeah, the general idea here is it's, uh, I would, I guess I would call it Atheist Isaac, perhaps. You know, it, it's, uh, instead of all the sort of uh, Christian imagery, which if you didn't know, and, and uh, oh, there, okay, I found it, wonderful, okay, so, yeah, but if you didn't know, the Binding of Isaac has a lot of uh, Christian imagery in it. It's uh, it's subtle, but if you look really close, you'll see it. You won't find that here in this game called Healer, because this is a uh, sort of a different thing. It's about uh, it's about fighting diseases instead. But you, you'd be amazed just how easily that sort of slimy, goofy, organic. Uh, look that Edmund McMillan made popular with games such as Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac, uh, that it translates pretty closely, actually, you know? And now this game is definitely trying to do some different stuff. Like, uh, you'll see that when the, when the gameplay comes up. Here I am selecting my character here and uh, discovering that, uh, you know, I, I only have the one character for now, which is... You know, par for the course. I'm not expecting to start with a full roster. This ain't exactly Street Fighter here. But eventually, you're supposed to be able to build up to have a bigger starting loadout and that sort of thing. But, I mean, the, the look and feel is unmistakable. Well, I say the feel. I mean, the look is unmistakable. It's very clearly, a, you know, a Macmillan-like from that aspect. But the feel of it is, is much different. You know, you'll notice down at the bottom there's that little level bar. Like, instead of the Isaac way of doing things where you find items, and that's what gives you your, your new abilities, it's a little closer to the progression system that's been popularized by things like Vampire Survivors and that sort of thing, where you get upgrades with certain at certain level ups, you know, you, every every enemy levels you up a little bit, and then, you know, everything pauses, and you, you pick out a, a new thing from a, a, usually a list of three, right? And that uh, gives you a little additional powers, which you, you're going to need, because, like, I'll tell you right now, this game starts so slow, you know, like, it just, it, you, your, your rate of fire is, uh, you know, it, it, it one-tenth of when I feel like it, it seems like. And so a lot of it is in the very beginning is just trying to get yourself to a point where, you know, you can you can fire at a, a halfway decent rate, you know. Uh, but in, in no controller support. I did check that almost immediately. No controller support. So, now... There's not a whole lot to, else to write home about on this. It's getting mixed reviews for reasons I can't really tell because I do not have the time to uh, translate 50 reviews 
uh, from Chinese to English. Um, I did, however, have enough time to translate a couple of these, and I learned something interesting that I would like to share with all of you. And that's that, you know, here where we talk, uh, we, we talk English good, uh, we have the term roguelike. Right, and there's a lot of contention about what well, should it be roguelike or roguelite, or you know, or should we call it an Isaac-like, which is what the, the the Steam description uses in English, or you know, whatever you whatever it is, you know, we have that sort of our word for you know when things uh, sort of randomly generate levels and everything's procedurally generated and it's different every time and. You lose all your progress when, but you know you can retain certain things between runs to get more powerful. Yada yada. You, you know, I, I, I don't think I need to explain this to you. Binding of Isaac is probably one of the, the most popular games of uh, contemporary gaming right now. I think most of us, if not all of us, are familiar with it in one way or another. Um, but over in China, they. The, the term that they use for this type of game translates in English to meat pigeon. These are called meat pigeon games. Now, I'm serious. What happened was I was reading these reviews and trying to get a, 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 an idea of what you know, it, folks over in China didn't like about this uh, Chinese version of, of Binding of Isaac that was made for them. And... The term meat pigeon kept coming up, and I just thought that's an amusing one. It's probably some sort of a weird lost in translation thing. So I decided to, uh, I decided to Google meat pigeon, but because I recently reset my entire Windows experience and I'm too lazy to keep, you know, changing the settings every single time, I, it, it did Bing instead. So I binged it, and when I bing the term meat pigeon. It brings me to a bunch of Chinese websites that I translate into English, and one of them helpfully explained. What is a meat pigeon game? It answers the question, and it's uh, some site called iMedia. I'm not going to show it on this screen or nothing, but if you're that interested, go ahead and bing it for yourself, or Google it, I suppose, if you are if you have more ambition than I do, um, I suppose, and just haven't completely given up on your computer settings. So, yeah, you look up the term meat pigeon, and yeah, every description it gives. Is, and it even shows pictures of things like dead cells and, and Binding of Isaac and games like that that we would call a roguelike. They, they call it a meat pigeon. And I just thought that was fascinating. It's, it's a heck of a lot more fascinating than this game, if I'm being completely honest. Now, it, it, it's trying some stuff, you know, like the, the fact that I figured out, it, it, first off, the, it's all very difficult to figure out what all the buttons do. It doesn't really give you much information in that aspect, and, and, but I did eventually figure out which button was the bombs button. You know, there's a button for bombs, all right? And then there's that, you see that little capsule there that, a little percentage is building up. Well, I discovered, it, 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 which weird is, it says press R key to explode next to it, right? And I thought, oh, this is some big room clearing special attack. Wonderful. And then I pressed R key, and then nothing exploded. So I was like, what does this do, you know? So the next time it came up, I, I give it another go, and it turns out it just increases your rate of fire for a little while, which I was thankful for, because again, the. The base starting rate of fire in this game is butts. It is absolute butts. You know, and if you don't think butts is a slow speed, well, just think of how far or fast a butt could go if it was not attached to legs. If it was just a butt. Just a, 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 a lonely, bodiless butt. It would, you would not associate that with speed. There are other things you would associate uh, a disembodied butt with. Speed is not one of them. Unless it was the Flash's butt. Boy, you, can you imagine a disembodied Flash's butt? Like, I bet when it farts, it sounds like Eminem beatboxing. Like, yeah, that, that would be the Flash's disembodied butt. Farting, and it would sound... Yeah, yeah, rewind if you want to hear the joke again. I'm not going to tell it again. But, in any case... But is not normally associated with speed, and neither are neither is the base rate of fire in this game. 
you know, she had very slow. It does do this thing where if the level's dragging out for too long, it'll give you little arrows to let you know where all the, the enemies are. Not that it has to. These are not what I would call like cluttered or complicated levels. It, it might get more so later. I, I had I didn't play a lot of this game. It uh, it didn't really grab me as you know. I, I might give it more of a chance later. This is not as bad as say, oh, what was it that that girl licks a dog or whatever it was that I did last time. Like I'm definitely never playing that again. Like. <laughs> You know, not until there's a... Not until the very least they actually add some Golden Girls to it. Oh, I, I, did, I don't think I mentioned it too much in the last video. I'm a huge fan of the Golden Girls. For those that haven't followed my work on other platforms, I am... I adore the Golden Girls. They, they are my favorite. And for a Golden Girl game to have zero Golden Girls in it, well, it's uh, you're not going to get a good review out of me on, the, on that front. You have the most stellar gameplay on the planet. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand behind a gold. I'm not gonna endorse a Golden Girl game with no Golden Girls in it. It's uh, you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't whiz in the wind. You don't do those other things that were in the Jim Croce song. And you don't recommend the Z-Manzilla Golden Girl game with no Golden Girls in it. That whole phrase is gonna have to get put in the book of popular sayings. You know, once I've earned that honor, obviously, you know, I got to work my way up to the point where I can start suggesting sayings that people use all the time. You know, and it's tough competition. You know, everybody knows who Superman is and can infer from the situation why you might not wish to pull on his cape. But, you know, you try to mention me in that sentence, you know, a lot of jokers are just going to be like, well, who's z Manzilla and... Why should I care whether or not they recommend a Golden Girls game? You know. Give it time. Maybe eventually. You know. Stephanie Sterling willing. And the creek don't rise. That saying will mean something in the zeitgeist. I still haven't figured out, by the way, why I can't pick, her, pick up those, uh, those health kits. Like, even back before, when I was missing health, I could not pick up those health kits. My little... My little not Isaac over here couldn't pick up the health kit. So I, I, I did figure out, this is, this is weird right here, all right? So pay attention. One of the things you can buy is 50 amino acids. Now, amino acids is the currency. Like, that's the money in this. And apparently, you can buy 50 amino acid. Like, or, or, or buy one amino acid for 50, but you, you pick it up and it just gives you 50 amino acids back. I... I am baffled. Like I, I, there must be some weird little mechanic in there where you can. I don't know. Maybe it's like the, the Bumbo from from Isaac, where you can feed him coins, and that's just a way to drop fifty amino acids to feed your your Bumbo equivalent. It's just a it's a speculation. It's a wild guess. You know. Hey. There's a lot of things going on in this game, and the thing is, all the new stuff it brings in... Here's it. Okay, why don't we rewind just a second here and say that I do respect that they're trying to bring new stuff to the table, right? Like, if you're going to take stuff out of Isaac, you know, like the the Christian overtones, you got to put something back, right? Or otherwise, what's the point, right? Otherwise, it's just godless Isaac, you know? Like... It's... That, that's, a, that's an interesting elevator pitch, but where are you going from there, right? So the thing is, well, what are we adding to it? Well, we have we've got the the button that increases your rate of fire, which we 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 make useful by making your starting rate of fire absolute buttocks, and not even the kind that farts Eminem beatboxing, you know. Um, you know, it, we got the the ability to switch weapons. You can carry multiple weapons and switch between them with that with the F button there. Um, we've got. No controller support, which, uh, you know, some people may enjoy the challenge of that. You know, that, you know, if I, for one, enjoy it when, you know, a game doesn't let me use a controller for a type of game that I'm normally accustomed to using a controller for. You know. I, it, it, I find it especially works well in rage games, because spending money on a controller and not being able to use it, well, that makes me pretty angry. So, so you know. 
Maybe if there was like a Chinese equivalent of getting over it, not having controller support would be a feature, you know. Um, maybe they, I don't know what they'd call a getting over it style game in China. I, I don't know, probably a, a, a dairy caterpillar or a, I don't know, a, 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 a vegetarian fish. I, what, what kind of game would that be? Who knows? But I imagine whatever it is, I will hear it, and then I will want to do an entire video about that, too. Because, I'm sorry, I'm going to come back to that. The best thing about this game is me discovering the term Meat Pigeon. Like, I'm never going to call them roguelikes again. Probably not. Maybe not. I, I, you know what? I, I'm going to be... I, I, I'm going to basically end up being one of those obnoxious people that uses the new term just... And then, and then people, you know, just knowing that nobody in the room knows the new term, so that I can use the old term and associate with the new term, you know. And for extra pretentious brownie points, I will explain all of it without having been asked, you know, because there will be people that I'll say meat pigeon, he'll smile and nod, because it's not interesting enough for them to get more information at that point. They don't care. They don't care what a meat pigeon is, you know. But I'm going to tell them anyway, because that is why people invite me to parties. All the parties I go to, all both of them, they bring me in because I'm the one that over explains things that I introduced without anyone asking or even caring. And the whole time, the, the conversation was about whether or not you who has dairy in it. And it's like, you know, if I run across the conversation like that, where it's like, oh, somebody claims you who has no dairy in it, I I'm the first to speak up and say there are at least three different things on the ingredient list that are derived from, from milk. And they'll say, aha, but that doesn't mean it's milk. I was like, well, well and I'll just be like, well, one of those ingredients is the non-fat dry milk. So, you know, I win this conversation. But no, I have skipped entirely over that conversation that I would rather have been having. Just to say, hey, I was playing an interesting meat pigeon today. And hoping somebody goes, what's a meat pigeon? And if they don't, saying that, that's, a, that's the Chinese word for uh, for roguelike game. And then, and then they'll ask if I'm ordering anything or not. You know. Anyway, this is Healer. I don't want to say it's a blatant ripoff of Binding of Isaac. I mean, stylistically, obviously, but it's also trying to do its own thing. I'll give it brownie points for that. Uh, it, unfortunately, none of the stuff it's trying to do is really all that interesting. Uh, uh, you know, enough. I don't. I don't feel like it brings enough to the table to go out of your way, uh, unless you happen to be a big fan of the meat pigeon genre. Oh, what's that? It means roguelike game. Yeah, I, that's an interesting fact I figured out. See, I just gave you an opportunity to pretend you was at a party with me. Yeah. Isn't that, uh, isn't that great? Greedy Big Moth. Who does not look like a moth. I think they maybe just misspelled mouth in the English translation. Which, you know, it's, it's never a thing, right? And uh, by this time, I managed to get a decent rate of fire going and I was able to double all of my skills and and so now I'm I'm throwing like three or four bullets and three or four turds at him every single time I uh, hold down the thing. Anyway, I, I didn't quite nail the, the oral cavity uh, stage there and uh, I was like oh, I could try again or I could just skip straight to the part where I, I share the, the term meat pigeon with all of you and that's what I chose to do. So I hope you appreciate that. This is Healer. And uh, thanks for your time. And uh, thank God for Stephanie Sterling.